In this Inspired Insider.com interview, we talk with Andrew Warner from Mixergy. He asked me three of the most commonly, frequently asked questions when it comes to interviews. We asked the audience what they want to know about interviews, and this is what they asked us. That and much more coming up next. Are you recording? Uh, yes, I am, and okay. you've got it too, so we should be good. All right. Jeremy Weiss here. Thank you for joining us. We're here with the infamous Andrew Warner as well, and uh, we're going to here to answer your questions. Uh, thank you for responding, and uh, Andrew is here to facilitate as he always does, so <laughs> take it from there. You bet. The It seems like the first biggest one of the biggest questions that you got was people wanted to know how do you get high I'm looking at the list here how do you get high level people to say yes to an interview it's a great question and that's like one of the most commonly asked questions and the answer is which it wasn't even obvious to me at first but you just ask friends or family and I remember I was um, you know just thinking of brainstorming who are high level people and reaching out to them cold is you know, hard to do. And I didn't even think of it. I asked my dad one day, like, who do we know? Who's a relative? Who's a friend that we should, that we know that has run a successful business. And he immediately had three people that he's like, oh, you know, um, one of the, my cousins started uh, Clipper magazine and they sold to, I don't know if it's the, you know, career builder or the Gannett organization or, or something, but you, you sh- I can call him and you know I'll, I'll set something up or you call him, I'll give you his number. And so the easiest way, the absolute easiest way is you know someone in your circle of friends or your family that would be perfect for whatever industry you're in or they know of someone. So that you know then it's a, a warm introduction and then you could obviously reach out beyond that, but those warm introductions are the best. Yeah, that's how I started at Mixer D2. All right, second big question is, and this keeps coming up over and over again, people want to know what technology should they use to record interviews? So you just recently bought a whole new setup. What setup did you buy? Yeah, so I use two things actually. So for the, I started off experimenting with everything. I started off trying to make go-to meeting work. Uh, We tried Google Hangouts. We tried, you know, they spent, you know, probably more than 20 hours, just experiment. Even though we know what we do in the process, you're always looking for what's the best. So what I use on the PC um, is Vodburner. um, And then I use just a, just a simple mic uh, with a headset, you know, like a $40 Plantron. I love Plantronics, Plantronics headset. And that's what I record with the PC. Works great. I was finding, I was doing so many of these that I needed more memory space. And and so I got another setup, which we were talking about, which is the Mac setup. Um, And then we use Ecamm uh, for that, which I believe, um, you know, Vodburner is coming out with a Mac version, but right now I use Ecamm uh, for for this setup. And then I use just like headset uh, like this, because my wife said I look like a bug when I'm on with the, you know, the plug-in with the actual headset. So I got the smaller headset and then I have a, uh, a Yeti mic, a Yeti blue mic um, on my end, which Andrew says getting some feedback. So we'll see. Uh, what do you use over there? Uh, Skype, Ecamm call recorder. I have a Rode podcaster mic. And I'm trying to think of what else. And I edit on ScreenFlow. Yeah. And I, I more and more like to see interviews being recorded on uh, Google Hangouts where it's, there's little setup. The, the other person doesn't have to have Skype on their computer. Uh, Hangouts automatically records and posts to YouTube. So I think it's a great way to get started. Yeah. All right. Uh, Real quick on that, on that note. So um, I 
I wonder why do you not use iMovie and use ScreenFlow? ScreenFlow. I use iMovie to good. edit. I care about speed and editing on ScreenFlow is incredibly fast, and okay. then and exporting from ScreenFlow is very fast too. Okay. Why are you using a headset? What's this? Yeah. Well, because then the sound gets into the other part of the office, and people can hear. We'll be able to hear the sound, oh, and sometimes there's feedback. Station. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes yeah. there. I found like when I did it, there was like I was hearing it twice at times. So. Okay. Uh, final question is: How do you prep, and what? How do you prep for the pre-interview process, or what is the pre-interview process? Yeah, so that's a really good question. That the that's probably the most commonly asked question I get a lot. And um, basically, first of all, I I um, have certain questions I'm going to ask ahead of time, uh, so I make sure I'm prepared. And I also send it to them to the guests uh, ahead of time, not too far, maybe like the day before, the day of, because I want to you send them a list of the questions that you'll be asking them in the pre-interview ahead of time. Yeah. Why? Um, because I want them to start to think of, and the, the whole goal of the, the pre-interview process is to, you know, so they're not going off on tangents and we get the most condensed, best stories and best information. So I want to make sure they're at least looking through the questions so they kind of get in that mindset and start thinking ahead of time. But I also don't send it too far ahead of time because I don't want them to think like they have to, to do homework. I want them to just like, and I tell them, just look it over, don't do anything, we're gonna do everything when we talk. So they know, okay, I don't have to do anything, they just, just briefly look it over, and um, that's what we'll, we'll cover in the actual process. Um, so send it to ahead of time, and then as far as prep goes, I just do research. So I try and know as many of those answers as possible before they even say them. So if they miss something in their story, because they have good stories that they've either blogged about or they had done a video on, and so they'll mention something and they won't even think of what they've said in the past, and I'll bring it up and that will jar even more stories. So I try and actually personally go through the, the web and wherever I can and answer all of those questions ahead of time. And then they're actually appreciative because then they're like, wow, like you did your homework. You, you already know. And I like one person I sent a, a video of their, I, I watched so many videos on this person. I sent a video of them uh, playing with their daughter and I go, this is my favorite video. And I sent him and he's like, where'd you find that? I don't even know where that is. And I actually sent him the the clip for him and his daughter that he didn't even know he forgot existed so they're they're appreciative for that work but also we get the best you know information concise when they actually do the interview it's like just like we did beforehand just kind of going through a little bit of what we're going to talk about so it's not you know rambling on and off the cuff i think um some people listening to this might think whoa i haven't even done an interview and now you guys are recommending that i do pre-interviews I'd say that if you haven't done interviews yet, you don't need to go through a full formal pre-interview process. Mm -hmm. What I used to do when I started doing interviews on Mixergy is before hitting record and before officially starting the interview, I would ask a few questions. What I'm hunting for is the same thing that Jeremy just talked about, which is hunting for stories. People don't get interested in facts. What they care about is the stories that led to understanding. That's what they remember. And so we spent some time with the guests figuring out where their stories are. How do they get their first customer? How do they um, uh, get the idea for their business? All those things are interesting if, if the person remembers the story around them. And often when it's on the spot, the camera's on them and they have to answer a question, they don't remember it. But if we spend some time with them beforehand, just chatting, it'll come up. Yeah, and people ask too, how long do you spend with this? And I say anywhere from 10 minutes to 60 minutes. And I've had to do it in like five minutes and I literally just rapid fire, ask them the question, tell them to give me a one word answer for just so I can jot down what story or what thing they're gonna talk about. And you can get it done in full, even if it's like 10 or 15 questions in five minutes or 10 minutes. Yeah. All right. Um, if anyone else out there has any more questions about how to interview, Jeremy has an email address where he's just taking questions like the ones that he just answered here about Mixergy's interview process, about his pre-interview process, about technology, about anything that you want. If you want to record your own interviews and you have questions, challenges, issues, hesitation, bring them up to Jeremy. His email address is askjeremy at mixergy.com. 
And if these kinds of answers aren't enough for you and you want to have an actual conversation with them, we're going to set up a page at, let's say, Mixergy.com slash call Jeremy where you can request a conversation with him. I'm, I've got to remember to create that page. But by the time this video is up, that page will be working. Send him an email. Go ask him for a conversation and do these interviews. Interviews are a great way to connect with guests and to really to, um, to build relationships, to learn, and then to teach others and spread the ideas that you learn out on the internet. Cool. All Jeremy, right. any kind of question that you're especially looking forward to? No, I like all questions. Nothing right. in particular. Ask, ask Jeremy at Mixergy.com and Mixergy.com slash call Jeremy if you want to schedule a call with him. Thanks, Andrew. You bet. All right, I just hit stop. I will.